Ben Ogden. And I'm Andrew Hill. We're also staying on top of a developing story tonight that we first brought you last night at 10 o'clock. This woman tragically lost her life last night because of these intense monsoon rains. We are learning 32-year-old Rachel Haber stopped by a friend's Englewood home to feed a cat when rainwater came rushing into the basement. Rachel drowned. And neighbors are raising new concerns tonight at 10 of the drainage system in that part of Inglewood. Well, Denver 7's Jason Grenauer is live from South Acoma tonight. Jason. Yes, and good evening to you. More rain is now falling here. The last thing that these neighbors in this Englewood neighborhood, just a little bit south of Quincy, want to see. Multiple people actually had their homes flooded, including the home where that woman ultimately drowned. There were pumps. The ground is saturated. And tonight, neighbors are raising concerns about that water and whether or not the city did enough to make sure it didn't end up in their homes and how it should have ended up where it belonged. Now, the day after Rachel Haber was pulled from a flooded basement and died at the hospital, there was a lot of sadness and shock here today, but there was also some anger after five families needed Red Cross assistance because their home flooded. One neighbor called out the city of Englewood saying that neighborhood drains were full. No one came and cleaned them out, and this has been an ongoing issue specifically here on this street for years. She says her basement flooded in about 25 minutes. She lost most of her possessions, and after hearing the news of what happened just up the street, she wants answers. The fact that this isn't properly drained well and the city, I don't know if the city's doing everything that they can, but I mean, the fact that that happened in 20 minutes and she couldn't get out, that's scary. It's, it's not okay. Now, we called the city of Englewood and spoke to a spokesperson specifically bringing up the issue of drainage specifically in this neighborhood. They said that they have no information on that today and would not be issuing a statement. But the last statement that they issued regarding a separate issue, the storm that rolled through here, they called it a once in a hundred year storm. Reporting live in the thunder and lightning in Englewood tonight, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. Jason, thank you.